Well, hi there, everybody, and good Friday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. Uh, we're going to be ending the note on or the week on a high note, uh, temperature-wise. It is going to be a little hotter out there than uh, the decent conditions we had out there yesterday. For Thursday, most of us were in the 80s. Many of us are turning back to the 90s later on today. It is a warmer start to our morning. A warm front will be lifting through. We start off in the 60s. Not the question we see an isolated storm today, but most of us will miss out the chance mainly this afternoon. So again, very hit or miss shower and thunderstorm activity, but I would say more miss than hit. Otherwise, partly to mostly sunny skies, I think leaning towards a little more sunshine this afternoon. Uh, again, highs back into the 90s for the most part. Heading into tonight, pretty quiet, a warm night ahead of us. Partly cloudy and uh, becoming mostly cloudy with a slight chance of showers or storms, a little bit better chance towards western Nebraska. Cold front will start to make its way through during the day on Saturday. So cooler the farther northwest you go. Can't rule out some showers and thunderstorms on an isolated basis. A little better chance towards the afternoon. But right now it looks like the best chance would be close to that, close to that uh, cold front. So wherever that ends up, looks like that's where the best chance overall would be. So probably likely the best chance in southeast Nebraska and in northern Kansas. Tri-cities, lower chances, even lower chances farther to the west. And again, the farther southeast you go, the hotter it will be tomorrow. The farther northwest you go, the cooler it will be tomorrow. Temperatures ranging from the upper 70s to somewhere in the 90s in the southeast parts of the viewing area, likely mid to upper 80s around the Tri-Cities. As for later today and into tonight, a small chance of some severe weather out towards the west. Not really anticipating much, but something we can't completely rule out. And then tomorrow from about the Tri-Cities eastward and southward, a small chance of a, a few showers and thunderstorms that would become strong to severe, better chances off to our northeast. Highs for today, topping out in the lower 90s up north, maybe mid-90s around the Ainsworth area. Breezy south and southeast winds at 15 to 20 miles per hour, mostly sunny skies. A small chance of an isolated thunderstorm later today out west, mid-90s, maybe even upper 90s around McCook and Imperial. Breezy winds out of the south and southeast. We'll see low and mid-90s in the southern parts of the viewing area. A small chance of an isolated thunderstorm. Small chance also to the east later on today, low and mid-90s for afternoon highs. For the uh, next seven days in the Tri-Cities, a little cooler tomorrow. Again, that chance of rain, I'm keeping it at a 30% chance of showers and storms in the Tri-Cities. I think our better chances are going to be to the east and to the south. As we get into Sunday, it should be a dry day back into the upper 90s, upper 90, or excuse me, upper 80s. Upper 80s again on Monday. Slight chance of showers and storms Monday and Monday night. A slightly better chance Tuesday, a cooler day on Tuesday. But our best chance overall, I think, comes Tuesday night and Wednesday. More widespread showers and thunderstorms. Heavier rainfall, certainly a possibility in some locations. The best chance we've had for a while for many locations. Uh, high around 80 on Wednesday, the coolest day overall of the next seven, so many could be stuck in the 70s. The chances of rain do go down as we approach your Thursday and Thursday night, but we keep temperatures a little more comfortable, again, right around that lower 80 uh, range out there. So a little more comfortable uh, weather temperature-wise, some better chances of rain down the road, and a couple of small chances here heading into the upcoming weekend as well. So there's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski, and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.